Welcome back mathematicians. In this video we are going to look at another example where we're graphing the equation of a line. Now we're given a linear equation in general form. Again we know it's linear because the power of x and also y are positive 1. So this equation is in general form and we really have two different strategies on how we can graph it. The first strategy is to convert this equation to slope intercept form. Recall that slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So 2x minus 3y is equal to positive 6. The first thing we're going to do is subtract 2x to both sides. Then we have negative 3y is equal to negative 2x plus 6. And then divide by negative 3 to all terms in the equation. So what we get for an equation in slope intercept form is positive 2 thirds, which is the fraction negative 2 over negative 3 reduced x minus 2. From here we can go ahead and graph this equation now that it is in slope intercept form. We know the b, which is my y-intercept, is negative 2, which means the point 0 comma negative 2 is a point on my line. We also have the slope m, which is positive 2 over positive 3, and that would be the rise over the run from your y-intercept to a second point. We'll go ahead and use this strategy to graph our line, and then I'll show you the alternative strategy. So we'll plot 0 comma negative 2, which is down two units on the y-axis. From there, we'll go up two units and to the right three units to plot my second point on the line. Bare minimum, we need two points to graph a line. So those two points do represent my line. Now the other strategy is to find the y-intercept and the x-intercept from the original general form. So we'll start with the x-intercept. To do this from the general form, you're going to replace y with 0 and solve for x. So it'll be 2x minus 3 times 0 is equal to positive 6. Well, 3 times 0 is just 0. So what we have now is 2x is equal to 6, divide by 2 to both sides, and so x is equal to 3, which means we have an x-intercept of 3 comma 0. 3 comma 0, which is the same point we already graphed previously using slope intercept form. We also need to find the y-intercept, and the y-intercept can be found by replacing x with 0 and solving for y. So it'll be 2 times 0 minus 3 times y is equal to 6. 2 times 0 is 0, so what we get is negative 3y equals 6 dividing by 3, negative 3, to both sides, we have y is equal to negative 2, which means our y-intercept is 0 comma negative 2, which confirms what we found earlier in our slope-intercept form. And so we have a y-intercept of negative 2, plot that point. So regardless of which strategy you use, we still have two points on the line, which now we can create our line with arrows on the ends to indicate that it does go to infinity. All right, guys, good luck.